All right, so now we're going to cover kind of the fundamentals that you would use from guard. Those are all submissions, as well as some strategy that you need to be aware of and how you should be using your guard. So to start off with, number one thing is in a real fight in MMA, close guard is pretty useless for you, okay? People use it in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu because they're stalling, because they're buying, trying to find time to think, and because now it's my chance to equally attack you like you can attack me, okay? So... But in, in an MMA fight, you probably want to have your feet on their hips to at least hold them away. And especially you'd want to be able to control their biceps so they couldn't hit you. Because right now he can still try to hit me or just throw my knees out to one side. Just, yeah, my knees to one side and attack. So right away, you'd want to try and come in, cut the backs of his, his yeah, you definitely want to have your arms swimming on the inside. You don't want to do what you just did. This is bad. You, this is not control. This is control. Elbows in tight pushing it with your, your shins onto his arms. This is good control for a fight. And then again from here, there's a lot of ways that you can attack. You can move through the submissions that you can do. Okay, lots and lots of things from there. To start off with though, we're, we're gonna be concerned mostly with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Nogi, we're gonna go over some Nogi techniques just because they're basic. So I wanna pull him down with my legs, but not, not the way I just showed you. I'm not gonna use my heels. I'm gonna cross my ankles Okay, and I straighten my legs to squeeze on his ribs, and now I pull my knees into me. But he's not going to do this. He's going to have his hands holding himself away from me. Good. If he doesn't, his hand is on the mat. First move we're going to do is a Kimura, where I grab his wrist, and I'm going to figure four my arms like this. Okay, but what I do is I go over and under, and I grab my own wrist. And now I glue his elbow to me, and I lie back with his elbow on my chest. Now I'm going to hook his foot. Now I don't have to hook it like this, I just put my foot down in between his feet. The reason being is if I don't and I try to do this submission, he might just roll out of it or jump over. Yeah. Okay, he'll move. If I do this, now he can't. And now what I do is, his elbow is glued to me, my wrists are locked, I flex my wrists down. Okay, that's to make it tighter. And I have this elbow tight on his shoulder to keep the pressure down. And I'm going to shrimp away and turn with my body. Okay, I'm not pushing with my arms. Look, I'm pushing with my arms, it's not good. You don't want his arm to be straight, it needs to be bent, and then you get it. If it's straight, I can go a lot further. If it's bent, it's very, very short. Okay, so first off, anytime you can get the hand on the, hand on the ground, sometimes you can push it away and grab it with your wrist. Boom, sit up, grab your own wrist, elbow to your chest, you lie flat. Trap his leg, shrimp out, look, turn the other way. Boom, you're done. Now. Sometimes when you're doing that move, okay, there's different things that you can do. Sometimes when you're doing this move, we'll start off with this, and you sit up, he's going to hug your body to hide that arm. So now one thing you can do is you can go for the guillotine. So I'm just going to wrap my arm around and hug his head, and now I'm going to lie back and finish the move. Now before I show you that, I'm going to do it sitting upright so you guys can see what's going on here. Now remember, with a guillotine, what it is that you're doing is you're cutting off the blood of the carotid arteries, right? Uh, the carotid arteries letting the blood go to his head. This is a V. So it, the choke is not like this. The choke, what you happens is, right, I went for the move, like I was here, I sat up, he hit his arm, so I came around and I hugged his head. And now I bring this arm inside and I grab my fist like this, because I don't want to grab it like this because it gives him something to push against, to try and free his, his, the choke. So I'm here like this, and now when I pull it, I want to tighten my arm up, and look, this is making a V on his neck. So I tighten it up like this, and I add a side crunch to it. So I'm here, uh, that's how I do it. And in fact, look, if I'm twisting this way, it even helps me to move more this way, and crunch it even more. So that's what I'm going to do. So here we are. So I got Sean, he's here, his hand's on the mat, oh, I got to get it, he hides it. I come around and grab his head. Look, I come through right now, my hand is flat. I reach through and I make a fist and I cut my hand. And now, same as with the Kimura. Put my foot on the ground, and I move my hips out, and now I finish the choke. Okay? Good. All right, so that's the guillotine. Now, another thing that you can do from here is the hip bump sweep, which is something else that you could try to do. I was getting low. Bad? Okay, that's fine. So, actually, okay, we won't do the hip bump sweep then. You guys can do that because it's all about finishing on top, but I'm not going to instruct that for you, okay? Cool. 
So another thing that you can do from guard is here, if his hands are on me and not on the ground as they were before, is I'm going to bring my arms inside and I'm going to punch up to the ceiling to get his hands off me. And as I do that, I pull in with my legs and then I quickly wrap that around and feed the lapel to it. If this is nogi, I'm going to grab the back of his head or if my arms aren't that long, I'm just going to keep this nice tight control here. And actually, I probably would grab his head like this and my forearm like that. Okay, but we're doing gi, so I'm going here like this. Now with this hand, I'm going to come over, slide my elbow across his face, grab the gi wherever I can. Again, look, I'm turning my hand because I want it to be as tight as possible. You can put your thumb in if you want, but that's not necessary. You can just grab it like that. And I'm going to finish the choke. And when you finish a choke, remember, it's not this because you're choking with the V of your arm. So if your elbows go out, you lose that V. So when you do the choke, it's like this, it's like that. Okay, so now you've got this, boom, you've got the choke. If that doesn't work, you're going to put your arm in his bicep, take your left foot and shrimp out and put your feet on his hips. Now you're in a good open guard position. And from here, I can, if I need to, kick this leg through and then I come back across and I tie it up. And right now, if you see, it's across his back, it's not across his neck. So what I need to do is I'm going to release that grip, release that collar grip that I had. My arm still stays here. Okay, I want to keep this trapped. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to underhook his leg if I can reach, if not just his arm, or if I really, really am stuck, I'm going to come grab my shin, hold this down, try and sit up, Sean. Because I don't want him, if he sits up, I lose everything. So I need to keep him down. So once I'm here, I grab my shin if I have to. Okay, otherwise I would just grab this and I would, I would cinch it up. But I grab my shin and I'm going to shrimp out to turn perpendicular. Look, I pulled him forward. It's very stress. it's straining his lower back right now. My legs, sorry, I'll loosen up. My legs across the back of his neck and his shoulder. I can see into his ear. Now to make sure it's nice and tight, I'm going to kick on this side and then I'm going to crunch with this leg to make sure it's really tight. Make sure that you're over your ankle and your toes are flexed because if you're over your toes, you're going to break your own ankle. It happens often, more often than it should. That's a simple way, boom, no problem. Okay, good. That's, that's how you do the triangle choke. <clears throat> now, also from guard, you have a couple other options. And one is called the methodical armbar. And the way to do it is you can, you're going to push this hand past your center line, hook his elbow on the other side, and control his shoulder, because you want to keep him down and don't let him sit up. Because again, if he sits up, you lose everything. So once I have this, look, I open my legs and I reset them. So I open my legs and I reset them. One is a foot on his hip, squeezing. The other is clamping down on his back. And now that I have this, look, this is always tense and flexed. I can push his head if I need to, or both hands come here. I bring my legs through. I pinch my knees. I make sure his palm is up so his elbow is exposed open this way. And then I finish the move. And the way I finish the move is I kick out and my hips come up. But I keep this glued. I'm not going to do a power struggle. Because right now, like, if he flexes his bicep, I'm going to be a power fight with him. So I glue it to my chest, and then I finish the move. Okay? And if you guys want to teach, you can teach the arm bar from here too. So when you get through, boom, you come across. If it's not closed up, look, I figure form my arms, boom, and I finish that. There's also underhooking this and finishing that. I'm not covering those in detail because those are advanced things. They're just options for you to do. Now from this control, you also have another really good option. You shrimp out. Look, you get your knees inside, your feet on his hip. Whatever he's doing to you, if he's stuffing this leg down, so because you want to keep this leg high, so he doesn't do that to you, but say he's trying to stuff this just down so he can pass over it. I'm going to push his head, hand and foot. Okay, bottom leg comes through. Look, you abandon it. Sit up. You have your homo plata. Remember your legs are bent, feet out to the side. You underhook his far armpit, and then you sit up. And it's not leaning forward. That finishes the move. It's lifting, it's moving your hips like in an arc. It's moving them up and forward. Some guys like to lean forward, that's fine. If you have the luxury, you can grab his hip and pull him down. Now this, he's not going to escape. He's very much yours. Boom. Just finish the move. And that's the arm bar, the triangle choke, the omoplata, and the key choke from Greg.